Okay, I finally decided to automate the chicken coop door and got it figured out. Went with a 12 inch stroke linear actuator, mounted it up on the wall and then put the chicken door on some roller bearing drawer slides like you have in like a kitchen or a toolbox or something like that. So it should be pretty strong, keep the raccoons out. But how we run the system, right now I've just got a, well the ladies are loud today. I've got a 12 volt uh, power supply. And with that, I, I'm eventually gonna switch it over to a battery with a solar panel. But I've got two 12 volt timers. And I've gotta set them up that way. The linear actuator has, you have to reverse the polarity in order to move it the opposite direction. So to do that, we went with a DP, DT relay with a base. And you can see how I've got it crisscross wired there so it'll reverse the relay when you get power to it. This pop timer will give you the 12 volt or give power to the system. This timer will reverse, send the power to the relay to reverse the polarity to run the door in the opposite direction. So in the evenings, I've got it so this timer goes on for one minute. And then that will shut the door. I don't clip any of the chickens, but basically when that timer comes on, the door will go down. And the linear actuator has automatic clutch at both ends to keep it from overextending or and it shut, shuts itself off when it gets to the end of its limit switch. So once a day in the evenings it'll shut itself. Now in the morning I've got it so this timer goes on for five minutes. In the morning and in the middle of that five minute segment, this one will go on for one minute. And then when it does that, the door will go back up. I like this, it doesn't go real fast so it doesn't scare the birds. But it's got a 200 pound capacity to lift or push or push or pull 200 pounds so it has no problem at all pushing that door up and down. So. And there you have it. Seems to work pretty smooth so that's how it's set up.